The displacement-based assessment of complex masonry assets requires the availability of reliable and versatile freeware software packages to be used by architects and engineers. To this aim, a new tool has been specifically developed for the macro-block modeling of collapse mechanisms and an existing software for the global analysis of masonry buildings has been significantly improved. MB Perpetuate is a macro-blocks program written in MATLAB. It is based on the limit analysis according to non-linear kinematic approach. It is the most appropriate method for the assessment of arch systems, blocky structures and, in most of cases, also for churches and other assets of Class B. Moreover, it is particularly useful for the analysis of local mechanisms that may occur in palaces and urban aggregates. According to the procedure developed in Perpetuate, starting from simple data on the geometry of the examined structure, it allows to evaluate the capacity curve define the performance levels and evaluate the maximum return period compatible for the asset. Tremory program, developed from 2002 at the University of Genoa, models the global response of a masonry structure by the equivalent frame approach. It is particularly suitable for 3D complex models of palaces and other assets of Class A. In particular, within Perpetuate project, new multilinear constitutive laws aim to describe the response of masonry panels until very severe damage levels and to simulate different hysteretic response have been formulated and implemented in the program. They represent a powerful tool to perform both static, monotonic and cyclic, and dynamic non-linear analysis. Moreover, the new release of Tremory is essential for investigating the seismic response until severe damage levels and for applying the multi-criteria approach for a proper definition of performance levels. LogIdea is an expert tool that we have identified in the framework of the Perpetual project. This expert tool uh, has been developed in order to identify the seismic damage and the seismic behavior of architectural heritage. LogIdea is based on a hierarchical approach that links architectonic assets to facade, facade to structural elements, and structural elements to artistic assets. This is a type of a pyramid that there is behind the logic of, logic of the log idea. A pyramid that is divided in different levels that are architectonic assets, macro elements, structural elements, artistic assets. In order to collect the data in log idea, the data can be collected on site or by pictures, and the whole information that are required to uh, complete the record are related to damage type, damage position, and damage level. This information is to be collected at the level of the structural elements. We have defined different types of damage type at the level of the structural elements and different types of damage levels. And then we have also identified different types of um, damage that can be collected on artistic assets. So once we have identified our architectonic asset at the urban scale, then the building is deconstructed in a different facade, and then the identification of the structural elements need to be done. Once all this identification of structural element is carried out, it is possible to assess the type of damage. All, once all this information has been recorded in our idea, it is important that the user has also to specify the reliability of the data collection. Once the data has been uh, recorded, so the second step is that LogIdea will be also able to, uh, by using logic trees, to interpret the data that has been collected on site or by pictures. Uh, logic trees that are used in the, this software are based on the knowledge of architects and engineers uh, that uh, they use in order to identify the, the global behavior. 
In order to help the user in the, in the data collection, we have developed a platform that is already online that allows the user to create new records, to design simplified sketch of the facade under consideration, to collect the type of damage at damage level, to upload pictures, and then to record the possible mechanism occurring on the facade. But Logedia is not only a tool for the data collection, but so it's not only a database, but also interpret the data that has been collected on site or by picture by using logic trees. So different type of logic trees, so a logic procedure for different type of collapse mechanism has been identified and the log idea according to the type of damage that has been collected by the surveyor in the platform, um, log idea will be able to uh, in, um, give an answer, so give, uh, will provide the type of collapse mechanism that is probably occurring on the tectonic asset under consideration.